Okay, ladies and germs, it's Miller time. I'm gonna take a look at Miller Genuine Draft. Of course, <laughs> uh, this is one of the only few beers that I know of that comes in a plastic bottle. Um, yeah, it's Miller Genuine Draft since 1855, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. Uh, cold filtered beer, doesn't really say a whole lot more. Brewed from the finest malted barley, select cereal grains, and choicest hops. So it's made with rice and adjuncts. And, um, yeah, Union made, Quebec, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Alright, well, let's give the pop bottle style cap on top of uh, a twist. You almost want to check underneath the label to see if there's like a, like, eye coke points here or something. And, yeah. Oof. I can already tell a bit of a skunky aroma off the top of this one. I'm just hoping that that skunky aroma is just more like a hop smell. <laughs> As um, clear bottles are notorious for going bad. Anyway, let's give it a give it a nice pour in HD. Whoa. Just a second here. How big is this bottle? I didn't really notice that it was that big. Irregardless, it's, yeah, it's 473 milliliters. Okay, that just changed it from being a, a cheap, uh, an expensive beer to a cheap beer. I think I got this on sale for $2.70 a bottle. Uh, I didn't realize it's about the size of one and a half bottles. Even though it looks like it's about the size of a regular bottle. Still, you can't argue with the values there. Minuscule head, bubbly head formed up to about a half finger and then disappeared. You can see where it's kind of about ready to break through the surface there. A little bit of whatever sitting on top. Hmm. Color wise, it's kind of like a golden brown. Not a golden brown, sorry. Golden straw, mostly the golden hue. Yeah, it's kind of like a brassy color. Very, looks almost like very little carbonation coming out of that beer. Hmm, let's give it a sniff. Other than a skunky, hoppy kind of taste, the kind of smell. It's got a smell that almost reminds me of Thanksgiving turkey. Maybe some roasted greens that kind of evoke kind of a... Almost like a coffee smell, but more like a gourmet kind of coffee. Not like your espresso or anything, more of a coffee kind of tone. Which is kind of surprising considering this is a clear, like a... a, a basic pale lager. Hmm. After having it open for a bit, the, the uh, skunky kind of smell has kind of faded away and I'm just getting notes of like light hops and grains. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Well, let's see just how good this is. Again, the taste kind of, the, the, the smell kind of carries into the taste. There's a light traces of, of kind of like, oh, let me see what that is. It's, a light bitterness throughout the mouth at start and it fades away quickly. It doesn't linger on. The bitterness kind of taste kind of, tastes kind of like a, almost like a metallic kind of hop. Maybe a hint of pine. But it fades away quickly into a grainy taste. And you get that kind of Thanksgiving turkey kind of coffee taste. 
you get that kind of coffee taste that kind of um, fades into uh, tastes of gra cereal grains like oats and rice and um, and predominantly a very corn aftertaste at the very finish. Yeah, that, that finish is definitely coming off as like a, a corn taste. Like it doesn't seem to be, like as soon as you drink the beer, take a swig, flush it down. Um, as it disappears, a few moments later you get like a corn kind of breath that fills your mouth. Birdie kind of corn. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll sit down with this one for a few minutes and come back with some thoughts. Alright, so what did I think of Milliner Genuine Draft? Well, a 4.7% ABV. It's actually turned out to be a quite a light tasting beer. Not quite as heavy as some lagers. I found it actually really smooth and easy to drink. Um, the flavor profile isn't very strong. Um, stupid microwave. <laughs> the flavor profile isn't very strong, but I found that it kind of the, the, had a, a sweet maltiness that almost gave it a like evoked mess of, like memories of eating tuna sandwiches when I was a kid. Got like. Uh, a, like a bready sweetness, like white bread, and it has a slightly fishy taste. Uh, <laughs> the hop finish um, was—it's inoffensive. It's—it's uh, it's really inoffensive. But I find it is really smooth to drink. And if I were to rate this, you know, it, there are lots of lagers out there that this is better than. Um, I almost want to give this a 3.0 out of five. Just because it's inoffensive and I find it smooth to drink, and if I were handed a bottle of this, I wouldn't object. But I often wonder if that kind of turkey tuna taste, faint tuna taste in the background is a bit of a strike against it, because, like, what is that? Come on. Um, you know, it, it's not bad. Uh, I would certainly recommend it if you're into just basic beer lagers. Like if you, if you're a fan of like Bud or um, Coors, definitely give this a shot. Uh, real craft brewers, like real craft brew fans, are not really going to regard this highly. Uh, as an easy drinking beer, I almost wanted to give it a three, but in realistic merit, like realistic creative credit, um, it's mediocre at best. So I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. Uh, it's a pass. Um, whatever. Just, if you want to, give it a try. 2.5 out of 5.